Hey, 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 what's up, everybody? This is Rod on the Road signing on. All right, bye. hope everyone's doing well and prospering out there. Well, I just want to do a quick video about beating the heat. And this won't be a long video, but as you can see from y'all that watch, that the tent is installed on both sides. I have one more window to do. It's a large window on the other side. But this tent is the Black Magic tent from Wally World, 2.5% really 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 dark and this stuff helps immensely with the sun of course with the white top that I'm also working on I'll put one more coat on it this weekend hopefully uh, that'll be two gallons with this dark tint uh, it keeps the Sun shaded it keeps the temperature down way down with fans and stuff circulating of course I don't have a generator for AC but this is you know if I plug up I have it but this has worked great so far and as you can see pretty easy to install. I had to get the hang of it. Uh, I had two or three. The, the smaller window was, windows were more difficult than the larger windows for some reason. But I'll take you inside and hopefully I'm putting on, I'm, I'm actually getting something ready, a little rice and I got. Let me tell you something about I try to stay away from microwave dinners because they're full of sodium. But every now and then, uh, you know, I partake in one. Let me tell you something. You don't have to have a microwave to, you, to cook them. You just uh, take them out of the package as you can see right there. Just take them out of the package, take them out of the package, put them in a the skillet, and it's the same thing. No big deal. That's a little, just a little something I do from time to time. Like I said, I try to stay away from all this sodium. But I hope you can see this inside. This is the tent. This is how it makes it look on the inside. You see how dark that is? I hadn't had a chance to clean the windows, but you can still see out fairly well. And I hope y'all can see out. And this stuff works great. Like I said, the temperature is dropping here. I got it on all the windows except this main window right here which i'm thinking about building something else here so i don't know i'm gonna go ahead and put that tin in and uh because of, of the heat of course and and definitely 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 decreases the heat so i definitely advise if you have windows and look check this out i have these curtains but i just slide these sunshades down and you still can kind of see out because it's perforated and, uh, you know, like I said, most of the time it's so dark, you can't see in at all. Even getting up close, you can't see in. And this tent, hopefully it holds up with the hot heat. I hope it don't turn purple because it's good and black right now. And we're just going to roll from there. As you see, I also have these small windows to do at the bottom. I hope you can see that, that I hadn't done. Now the sun's out. The sun's out now. I don't know if you can see it, but it's no problem in here. It's good and shady. These windows at the bottom are going to be a, a little more tricky because they're moving windows. And with moving windows, of course, they move. So the tent's got to be done fairly correct for you amateurs out there, myself included. But I want to go ahead and get those done because you see this, my sunshade and stuff. I'm going to keep that there. And this area back here, this lower area, you know, this is where I'm going to keep this at. And, and looking at it from the outside, like I said, that tent is so light, you can see this. And it just takes away from the look of the truck, you know. Uh, if I go back outside now, that sun's not going just properly with the. With the I'll, I'll show you outside, and hopefully you can see how it looks. But I'm gonna leave. I'm gonna be leaving this here because it's hard to store those things. But I'll be leaving both of these in here. And like I said, with that windows tinted, you won't be able to see them. Let me see. Let me. Let's go back outside. I hope the sun adjusts properly. I'm gonna keep this camera turned away from the sun. See, you can see how you can see those. If that windows, if these windows were tinted, you wouldn't be able to see this at all completely black and I could just bring it back up to here and this will all be covered and I still have ventilation right there and that's some quick tips on beating the heat getting that white uh, elastro I can't pronounce the big word roof to reflect the sunlight and also tinting your windows very dark to reflect even more sunlight and when you're running AC or something that definitely help that AC cool it down quite a bit it'll keep your interior temperature down as well as uh, fans and those max vents and uh, those roof shrouds open. You just keep that vent open and keep that ventilation going. And you can let that fan run when you're not in here. As you can see, I got 12.9 on my uh, batteries, on my solar. And, of course, there is two batteries now. Yay! Of course there's two batteries. I told you I'm going to get an extra battery. And I didn't do it the proper way. It's an old battery mixed with a new battery, but it's not that old. So, I, I, uh, you know, a year and a few months, 
still don't supposed to mix them. You should get both batteries at the same time. I did not, uh, but I knew to do it, but due to finances and all that stuff. And I'm sure I'm not getting as much voltage as I'm getting, but so far so good. I'm only losing two or three volts a night with the fridge running, and it hadn't quit on me since. So that's the update from the road. This is Rod on the Road signing off. God bless America. Y'all stay safe out there and beat the heat. Hit that like and subscribe button. Peace.